Hello, welcome to Gas Beauty o Tabletop Football. We're about to start the new mini series where we're building a seated terrace. So if you recall from previous videos, after the stadium redevelopment, which is still, I'm still cracking on with, but we've been left with a space to fill for a new terrace. And we've got some bits and pieces to use for that, which you've also seen in previous videos. Uh, now, if you remember, I got all of some of this MDF readily available off Amazon. Anyone can pick this up, three quid for 10 sheets uh, and it's nice length. So we'll talk about that in a moment. And also we had Gary from a Subutio Asylum sent in some seats that I'm gonna use as part of this. And they're really sort of the inspiration for this new seated stand. Um, you will have seen in much older videos, I built a uh, terrace that, where I cut my own seat. So um, you can buy these in all sorts of places. I'm sure if you go into Sputio Asylum, although I'm not an advert for him, but you know, Gary has the seats on there available and I'm sure he'll be happy to chat to you about them. Um, but do take a look if you want the convenience of seats being pre-made. Uh, other seats are available as well, but these have been sent in by Sabutio Asylum. Right, so that's part out of the way. Um, oh, on the subject of seats, yeah, as I was saying then, um, you can make seats yourself very cheaply, but it is very, very labour intensive. So go and look at the old videos if you want to uh, have a go at that. Uh, anyway, so let's talk about what we're doing here. So we're building a smaller seated terrace that's going to fill that gap. Now, on previous, the two previous terraces that I built, which have seated and non-seated areas, I've used these A4 sheets. And if you're going to do this, I'm going to advise, you know, make things simple for yourself. So the reason I use the A4 sheets is because they are roughly, if not exactly, one foot across. Let's have a look. It's a bit shy of one foot, but it's near enough to a foot that if you get three of these stuck together with some edging on, which I've done, as you've seen in the other, um, you know, at Gas Beautio Stadium, it fills up, three of them will fill up, a free width will fill up a three foot space, which is roughly the size of the width of a Subutio pitch. Um, so it fits nicely in. So if you're going along uh, the width, or in fact, along the length, and you want to cover some great distance, consider, just using this as your width. You know, let, don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. And here we move on to stage two. You'll notice I've drawn some lines on them. We'll get to them in a minute. But in the old stance, that's what I did. So I used the width of the board as my sort of defining length of what I was doing. Now this little terrace that I'm making at the moment, um, that's in a smaller space. So. A two foot length won't really fit in. So I've decided on this occasion, as it's going to be a bit of a smaller terrace, I'm going to do it uh, across the shorter side of the board. Uh, and this is what I've marked out here. So I marked out the first parts of that. Now, let's get to these markings. What are these? Now, how I've done it in the past is that um, I've made little stepped levels and I've had a standing terrace bit and then a seated terrace bit. Um, as this is going to be all seating, I'm just going to use the same sort of method as I used uh, for the seating on the other side, just across the width of the board rather than the length of the board. And for that, to start off, and I will cut some of this and show you what I'm doing, what you need is some uh, three centimetre width strips and some one centimetre width strips. And why do you need them? Right, well, I'm going to show you. Oh, and before we start doing that, Let's look at what sort of tools you're going to need uh, to complete this. So obviously you need a cutting board. There's going to be a lot of slicing and cutting in this. So if you get bored of that, uh, try and do something else because <laughs> there's going to be a lot of it. So you need some sort of cutting blade as well. Um, I've got a Stanley knife there. I put a new-ish blade in. It's useful to have some sort of square, a flat square. Um, that you can, you know, just make make sure your lines are nice and neat. Pencil, obviously, and something to measure your strips of MDF with. Right, without any further ado. Also, very useful, and I just took it off the table, a metal edge ruler. 
uh, and you'll see why that's very useful right now. Now, what I've done, I've measured these out. So three centimetre strips uh, and some one centimetre strips. Normally, if I was doing this, I'd do a whole board of, say, three centimetres, but I want to show you what I'm doing, or a whole board of, say, one centimetre ones. And like I said, you're going to be cutting a lot of these out for that, so um, get used to the idea, basically. So what we'll do, I'm going to cut a couple out because I want to show you what I'm doing. So if you've never used MDF before, my advice is a gentle kind of light cut to start with and go through it a few times gradually adding pressure as you go and what you'll find when you get to about the fourth or fifth one it makes it sort of quite a satisfying sort of click noise as you cut through the bottom there it goes and then that's cut that's cut off so that's you know one of the strips that we're going to use now, going to need a lot of them, but I want to show you what I'm doing with these one centimetre strips as well. So we'll cut a couple of them off. Now, what you've got to keep in mind when you're building anything to do with Subutio is that the figures are double O scale. So I think in scale terms, that's one, is it one seven five, one seven five or something like that? one seven three but what you can do is work out exactly what that means in terms of um distance and heights and things like that so i previously worked out that it, on a double o scale three millimeters is roughly equal to one foot in you know what would be in real life uh, for these figures um so that's why i use the three mil thick um mdf now we're going to need another three, three centimetre strip. You have to excuse me if I go off camera. So let's cut through that a little bit. God, when I built the uh, Gasputio Stadium originally, the Thatcher Stand, and that was about, well, it's more than a year ago now. I did a lot of this. So how is this going to work, just so we can see, right? So basically what I'll do, I'll have a piece like that, three centimetre piece, get a one centimetre piece on there, and then we get another three centimetre piece. You can sand the edges of these as well to make them a little bit smoother, a little uh, fine grit bit of sandpaper. And then basically that would be glued like so and you keep going as high as you want really um but we'll do the glue in and that in a different video i just wanted to show you that so you've got the measurements so if you're building along as well key things to remember however wide you do it if, you, if you're doing this running along the side of a pitch you probably you know this is almost like a bit of a, a bespoke um stand to fit in a gap that i got if you were doing a standard piece of terracing you probably want to do it you know width ways sorry length ways rather than width ways <clears throat> but what you want is three cent for a seated area three centimeter strips and one centimeter strips so they go like that if you were doing a standing bit as well i'd have to re-measure how i did that but um i'll certainly have a look at that for you for the next video so that's what we're doing so if you're building along, build along with Jen. Then what you want to be doing now is cutting three centimetre long strips and one centimetre long strips. And once I've worked my way through that and got as many as I need, um, I do build things by eye. So you've got to bear with me. I don't sort of have a plan as such. I build it by eye and from experience of what I've done before. But once I've done enough of them, the idea is, you know, as we build it up, you can then put uh seats on glue them on like so and it gives almost an ideal height for a um so where you go or subutio spectator to sit there it's like a realistic height for sitting down effectively uh, 
and that's what it will look like. So let me throw them seats off. In profile, you look, once it's glued, a bit of jiggling about me. In profile, you know, you're looking at that sort of thing, obviously lined up. Yeah? So that's what you're going for. Three centimetres, overlap with one centimetre, three centimetres, and then you keep going until we're at the top. Right. That's pretty simple. So a lot of cutting involved now. Um, so that's the next stage. So I'm going to crack on with that, which <laughs> does take a long time to get it all done. And then um, I will do another video relating to this when I start gluing these pieces together. All right. Everyone happy with that? Uh, Rovers uh, lost yesterday in their opening game against Mansfield. Captain got sent off as well. Slightly disappointed at that. It's not a great start to the season. But hey, hopefully we'll better uh, next Saturday. I'll actually be there next Saturday as well. So uh, if you see me knocking about on the platform, stroke Thatcher's Terrace, do give me a shout. Until then, up the gas. <laughs>